So it's come quite a long way in a short period of time uh, with the Chinese government's help. But I'd also give a lot of credit to Tesla because until Shanghai Giga, um, the first Model 3 rolled off the line late December of 2019, uh, it was still kind of struggling. And Tesla became the catalyst for the, the industry going to six and a half million, uh, around six and a half million NEVs sold in 2022. Now, uh, Li Xiang, who is the founder of Li Auto, he says that the take rate or the penetration rate for NEVs will be 80 percent by 2025. So if he's anywhere close, if we're anywhere close to 80 percent, then I would also uh, echo Elliot's sentiments that the ICE era is over in China for sure and eventually, but very quickly, will be uh, closing in Europe and the United States. So, Julie, as you say, you know, uh, Tesla was the catalyst that set this off, but that was only at the end of 2019, as you point out. So in the space of, what, four years, the domestic Chinese manufacturers have made quite big strides, haven't they? They have. There's been a tremendous amount of competition. And last year, despite supply chain disruptions and COVID, uh, the, the NEV sector grew like crazy, 100% year over year from 2021. Now, the CPCA or the China Passenger Car Association still forecasts that we'll hit eight and a half million units this year. So this is a down year and we're going to get close to nine million units probably. So again, China is leading the way and it's going to pull the entire uh, rest of the world, the major regions, Europe and the United States along with it.